And now Climate Change and Energy Minister Chris Bowen, he's now again taken aim at the Coalition's nuclear energy policy. He wrote a piece in the Australian newspaper today. Now he writes the next election will be partially a referendum on nuclear power and claims the Coalition's nuclear facts don't match global reality. Well, I'd like to query Mr Bowen on some of the facts. For more of this, we're joined by the Shadow Minister for Climate Change and Energy, Ted O'Brien. Good to see you again. Uh, like me, you would have read that column today. He takes a shot at you in question time today as well. Let's have a look at that. There's a certain irony here. The architect, architect of the plan, architect of the plan, Member for Fairfax. says we haven't seen the modelling. But we haven't seen the opposition's policy either, Mr Speaker. Now, that takes some chutzpah. That takes, well, I've seen some chutzpah in my time in this place, but that takes a yellow cake, Mr Speaker. That level of chutzpah takes a yellow cake because this is an opposition Order. which is treating the Australian people with contempt. Well, Ted, they find that all very funny, but Bowen in that column today says, look, Germany and Italy are examples of nations which have moved away from nuclear power. But he fails to mention, and I did a bit of checking on this today, but you can clear it up for me, that at those countries when they're short on renewables, don't they import electricity from nuclear-powered France? Hey, you're spot on there, Steve. And so what we've seen from Chris Bowen today is a mix of distortion of the truth and deflection from his own performance. But when it comes to the distortion of the truth, you're right. Um, a big point he's sought to make this week has been that Germany and Italy don't use nuclear energy. But in fact, he is wrong. In fact, they do. They draw on France's electricity. France, of course, being a nuclear predominant um, source. So they do use nuclear energy. Uh, he is factually wrong. I mean, France and uh, France would be delivering uh, electricity probably to the tune of around uh, 16 terawatt hours to, to the likes of Germany and Italy. So to put that in perspective, probably the same equivalent to the amount of coal used in New South Wales is, uh, is the amount of electricity that the likes of Germany and Italy import from France, which is predominantly nuclear. But this is what we see from Chris yeah. Bowen and from Labor, a distortion of the truth. He just makes this stuff up, Bowen, and he presumes that no-one can bother to check it. I was in Italy last year and I, I checked out the cost of electricity in Italy, which, of course, walked away from nuclear. There was a left-leaning government and they decided that it was all too dangerous. And so they went hell to leather into renewables, covered beautiful Italy with wind turbines and they've got a bit of uh, hydro as well. But it's the most expensive electricity, Ted, is it not, in the EU? There's no doubt that as you look right across the world, Steve, those countries that have nuclear energy as part of a balanced mix have lower electricity prices. And a part of that is because you have this zero emissions energy source that keeps the lights on. It provides 24-7 baseload power and it can work in partnership with other forms of energy. Um, the problem is Labor just refuses to learn the lessons from overseas. Yet here in Australia, everyday Aussie families, everyday uh, business owners, they are paying among the highest electricity prices in the world. But Labor is refusing to learn the lessons from overseas, only with a balanced mix of technologies, including zero emissions nuclear energy, can you get those prices down. So crack as many jokes as you want, uh, give an uppercut in the parliament, have a giggle from the backbench. But I tell you who is not laughing, the people at home who are, can't pay their bills. We've got over 500 families a week, a week since Labor came to office, going on hardship arrangements with their energy retailer. People are doing it tough out there, Steve. And so, you know, I don't really think people are laughing about this. No, they're not laughing about it. And Mr Bowen would do well to do a bit of research. Ted, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you very much. Ted O'Brien there now.